Hi, I'm David Brabham and I'm going to show you around our Patron Highcroft racing car. In the back here we have the, the gearbox, differential, we have the drive shaft, suspension, we've got the springs, the dampers here. You know, this is quite an important area for, for a race car because, um, you know, the springs help and the dampers obviously help us when we're travelling over the bumps in terms of, you know, ride and getting good feel for the tyre. The suspension components here. Um, obviously got to be strong and reliable to be able to get through uh, the Sebring 12 hour race. This section here we've obviously got uh, the brakes, these are carbon fibre brakes, they run extremely hot but they, they stop so so well, it's incredible the amount of g-force you pull under, under brakes because generally the car pulls a lot of uh, downforce but obviously the brakes make you, make you stop pretty, pretty good as well. Um, exhaust here, um, silencer we've obviously got to keep within a, a certain noise restriction. We've got a fantastic HPD engine in the back there. This is where the air comes in, where the air box is. This cup here is very important as well for the mechanics. We kind of get into refueling area here. Guys, you can still continue to work, you know. Refueling here, which is obviously uh, important for the pit stops to get all the fuel in correctly. This is the cockpit. This is my office. We have the steering wheel here, we have a seat. This seat is specially made for um, Simon Paginot, who's slightly the bigger driver. And then obviously we, we make our little seats that go inside there for our, for our stops. We've got the dash here that gives us all the information about uh, what's happening with the car, the tyre pressures, uh, what the traction control settings are. Well, as you get into the cockpit, because it's such a tight uh, bit of space down here, we've got to make sure we get the wheel on and off really quickly. So obviously the steering wheel sits over there when we're getting in and out of the car, we bring it across, we pull that, that lever, it's a little latch, and we put it on and it goes on that quickly. It has to because obviously we need to be fairly quick in the pit stops. As you can see the steering wheel here, we've got a lot of gadgets here. Uh, we can talk on the radio, which is just an easy little, little button over here to the left for the thumb. Pit lane speed limiter, we've obviously got to maintain a certain speed in the pits to be able to um, obviously not go over the speed limit, otherwise we get a penalty. Uh, we have a drinks button here, we can get a tube over here uh, with the radio that goes into the helmet, that actually allows us to be able to, to drink. Um, we, need, we have a neutral button, uh, OT is like an overtake button. Uh, I don't know why they call it an overtake button because um, it's not like we've got a turbocharger in there but uh, what it is that does do, if we, depending on the sort of fuel mixture that we're running out there, if we come up against a car and we're running quite lean and we just need a little bit more power to get past the, the car on the straight, we just press that button and that allows us to, to have a little bit more, um, a little bit more power. Um, obviously we've got flash here, flashing of the lights because you know we're coming up with a, a lot of uh, slower cars out there which so we want to make sure they see us so we press that button and it goes flash 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 um, alarm reset if there's any alarm resets traction control settings uh, fuel settings where the the engine guy in the in the pits will be able to tell us what what settings they want us to run at and uh, and, a, and a different dash display as well ignition uh, lights, rain lights, off lights, day and night lights, give extra lighting at night, um, turn signal. We have some uh, reset buttons here for the electronics. Uh, power steering here, we can adjust the power steering uh, because obviously, um, you know, there's a lot of force in the, in the steering because of the, the grip that we have. So we want to be able to adjust that while we're going around for a 12 hour race. When we get in and out of the car, if you come down here, uh, we can turn to the different drivers, so when you're doing a pit stop and you're doing a driver change, say Simon Paginot is in the car, he goes out and then Marino jumps in. Marino then has to, to put that there to make sure that the timing and scoring knows who's in the car. Um, and then he'll jump out and then I get in and then I'll, I'll switch over to, to DB. And uh, you know, as you can see, it's quite a confined bit of space, but it's pretty comfortable. Towards the front of the car, you can see Joel here working on the suspension, but um, this, is the, this is the front suspension area and the, 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 the actual springs and shock absorbers are actually not on there at the moment, but um, that's where they would normally sit. Well, obviously aerodynamics play a huge, huge role in, in race car design and their performance. So as you can see here, we've actually what we call louvers here 
on, on the top here, and that, that's to extract the air as, as, as the cover goes over here. Um, we, we need to get the air that builds up underneath where the tyre is, it needs to come out. And when it comes out like that, we're actually creating a downforce effect on the, on the front of the car, and we can adjust these in terms of how many we use, in terms of uh, fine-tuning the car as well. Obviously, we've got a panel here that helps direct the air. Um, and controlling it all the way through to the back so we can actually get good aerodynamic flow. And because over here, you see these lights, these are actually for us at night. So when we actually go around the racetrack and it's pitch black, we can actually see all the dials and everything that we need to play with and touch um, during the race. Um, really important to have that, otherwise we'd be lost out there on the racetrack. And of course in the middle there, that's the air restrictor. That restricts the air flow into the engine which basically gives us um, a, a restriction in terms of horsepower so we actually have equal power amongst all our competitors to make it a little bit better show and, it's, and, and this is the way we do it with the, with the air restrictor. And if we come around here, this is the steering column here. This is, this is all to do with the brake system here and uh, obviously it's really important that um, that all this is working properly because we want to make sure we stop properly. One of the most, probably one of the most important elements of a race car really is, is this stuff, the black stuff, the tyre. Uh, that's, that's the bit that's touching the ground. Nothing else touches the ground except for the tyre. For the so um, to have a really good tyre like we have with the Michelin, it's, uh, it's really, really important for, for lap time and consistency. Uh, these guys are the best at doing it, but you know, we can do many, many things on the car to try and improve it, but you put on a different set of tyres with a different compound or construction in the tyre, uh, we, can, we can gain seconds by, by just changing the black stuff right here. And uh, that's, uh, that's it, that's our, that's our, um, that's our Highcroft racing car.